Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex Nerney and I am the co-founder of both Create and Go and Avocado. Uh, forgive me, I'm trying out filming on the phone for the first time and uh, if this is really bad, just let me know. Uh, anyway, I just want to give you a little kind of brief tour. We just moved to Austin, Texas and yeah, there's my little, my little setup that I'm super excited about. But okay, let's get to it. So today in the article we have for you, or sorry, in the video that we have for you, we're gonna be talking about Pinterest and driving traffic to your blog via Pinterest. And we're gonna to talk to you why we choose Pinterest as a traffic source and why exactly we love it. I think you're gonna get a lot of value from it. I think it's gonna show you some things that you haven't seen before. We're also gonna talk about why we don't choose Facebook and, and some other interesting things like that and give you a few steps to get started with Pinterest immediately. So I'll see you on the inside. All right, what is going on guys? For those of you who do not know, we own the websites both createandgo.co and avocado.com. And what we do with createandgo.co is we talk about our success with avocado.com. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and clear that up at the beginning. Uh, as always, with the videos we create, a lot of them coincide with our awesome articles. So in the description, somewhere down, down there, will be a link to this article and a link uh, that you can follow. So make sure to go check that out. Okay, guys, awesome. Let's go through it. Okay, so a jack of all trades is master of none. If there was one simple concept that I was going to give you right now uh, for driving real traffic to your blog, it was this. It was that a jack of all trades is master of none. There are dozens of legitimate ways you can drive traffic, including Pinterest, Facebook, Google SEO, YouTube, Instagram, guest blogging, email drops, forums, and the list goes on. But the deal is, is that if you're optimized for everything, you might as well be optimized for nothing. And don't be a jack of all trades, or take the good advice of Red Foreman from that 70s show, don't half-ass everything, whole-ass one thing. Which traffic source should I choose? Obviously, we're talking about Pinterest in this video, and, but I'm going to talk about Pinterest and I'm also going to talk about why we don't like Facebook that much and we're going to compare the two. We can't decide what the right traffic for you is because different target markets and different people are in different locations on the internet, but our traffic is free on Pinterest. Virality potential is friggin' nuts. We had uh, one single pin drive over 80,000 views in a day. The demographic is high income earning people, averaging around 70,000 per year. It's fun and beautiful. Uh, Pinterest pins can stay searchable over time, which is called evergreen, evergreen traffic. I'm gonna compare that to Facebook in a second, meaning steady and consistent traffic over time. So even the pins that go viral, they stay steady and consistent with traffic, which is awesome. It can be 100% automated with a scheduler and the most profitable target markets are on Pinterest. Pretty much everything is on Pinterest because it's a search engine. So if you're searching for uh, puppies, they're gonna be on Pinterest. Um, or even if you're searching for something more technical, like how to start a blog. Oh, looky there. Pinterest as well. Pinterest to the rescue, guys. It's like a dumb and visually beautiful Google is the easy way to remember Pinterest. Okay, guys, let's keep moving. So some thoughts about the almighty Facebook. Oop, my bad. Some thoughts about the almighty Facebook. Okay, number one, the reason why we don't use Facebook in the traditional sense. Number one is reach is low. Like 10 to 20% of people will see your organic posts that reach is even lower today. It's cluttered. Your posts will be competing with videos and funny memes. So this is our private group, but let's go to my personal one. So uh, let's go to my feed. Okay, so here's my feed and it's blocked off. Um, it's called News Feed Eradicator if you want the plugin. But so what would happen on a typical day is that Pinterest, you'd be scrolling through your Facebook feed and there would be like some very funny pug video and there will be a meme and there will probably be another video and there will be some uh, guy selling his webinar series and then there will be a status update from like that best friend that you had like 10 years ago and then maybe I will see your blog post. And the problem is that in the land when you're competing for my attention, which is what is going on, I don't know why that's freaking out. Um, when you're competing for my attention, um, and that is exactly what social media is, and that is what um, 
blogging is, is as you're trying to compete for people's attention, for them to read your posts and be interested in your content and buy your products, it makes it very difficult. This cluttered nature of Facebook makes things very, very difficult for um, blogging in general. So just thought I'd, I'd let you know that. Building it organically is incredibly slow. Because of all of these above reasons, getting traffic and visitors takes serious ad dollars. If you want to get big on Facebook, they want your ad money. And even when you spend ad money on ads, people stop responding to them over time. So if you have ever run ads, you know this feeling of you start and it goes up like this, and then it levels off, and then it goes down. And the reason for that is simple, is that uh, people get bored with the same content, and you've got to continue to create this, uh, these new ads all the time to keep getting the same traffic you were once getting. So you got to keep coming up with these creative and different ads, which is kind of stressful. Uh, the demographic is all over the place. It's kind of lame, to be honest. Just what I mean by that is that most of the young people go ask a 14-year-old what they think about Facebook. And that's pretty much all you'll need to know about Facebook's future. It's not particularly bright because of how few young people like it or use it. It's kind of viewed as this old person thing. Just go ask them. Don't, don't take my word for it. Go find that cousin. Uh, I, I'd ask Curtis and ask him, hey Curtis, what do you think about Facebook? And he's just gonna roll his eyes. So here's what Facebook is good for though. Facebook is good for something. And if you're on this page, I do encourage you to go to Honest Bloggers. Honest Bloggers is our private Facebook community. Now, this might seem contradictory because I'm just sort of bashing Facebook, but it's not. Because this is a private community group and it's, it serves like forums used to. Forums were all about uh, community interaction and you'd get people talking and giving testimonials and stuff like that. And Facebook has done this as well with their private group. So this is a closed group, but you can go and ask to join Honest Bloggers by clicking this link or the link in the description. And what happens here is we have actual interaction with people. So this is Cleaver and he's asking actually about our Pinterest product that we're gonna talk about here a little later. Um, here's some questions. She tags me and Lauren on them and we get to answer them and help her out. Um, I posted a video in here, but you can see the difference is that there's some actual community interaction. It's a great way to connect with your target audience. So if you're gonna build Facebook, build a group, but it's not great for traffic, okay? We're not driving tons of traffic from here. We're just building trust in a community, uh, which has its place, but not for traffic. Okay, so let's go through how to drive traffic to your blog with Pinterest. I'm gonna try to speed through this stuff because I know your time is valuable. Step number one, create an account seems pretty obvious. Uh, one of the points we mentioned here is keep your personal interests for fashion, photography, etc., on your personal account and business for business. So you can see on here, this is our account at Create and Go. Let's go ahead and pull up our Pinterest account for Avocado as well. So we have both of them to refer to. Um, but you'll see on here, there's no, you know, about Lauren and I and, and stuff like that. It's travel tips and tricks. It's the business is business and, and the personal stuff is personal stuff and, and you want to keep it that way. Oops. Okay. Step two, fill out your profile and verify your website. So it seems pretty obvious you need to fill out your profile, uh, but maybe less than obvious is that you need to verify your website. Pinterest cares about these trust factors and one of the big ones is verifying your website. The good news is that there's this tool called Yoast SEO, which is an awesome tool for both verifying your website and for step number three, applying for rich pins. Uh, look at all those sexy five-star ratings. I mean, yeah, you definitely need this app. Um, regardless, Yoast SEO is great for both verifying your website, applying for rich pins, and for those of you who are going actually after Google traffic. Um, it helps optimize your posts for search engine optimization. Uh, the third step, as mentioned before, is to apply for rich pins and is one of the most important steps to driving traffic to your blog, and here's why. So let's go and let's type in weight loss, and let's see what comes up. So this pin, let's, let me show you an example. So this pin has rich pins set up, and this pin does not. This one pin does, this one does not. So you can see with rich pins, the only difference, these pins are not the difference. The difference is in this, this bold titling right here. And this bold titling means that this person has rich pins set up on their website. And it helps not only Pinterest 
and helps them trust you more, it, it makes it very easy for people to see and to click on and visit your website. So you've got to have rich pins if you're going to take Pinterest seriously. Just got to have it, period, in the story. And, and we have a little setup there for you if you want to go set it up and haven't already. Step number four, create boards. So you need to create boards. And one of the big things that we say here is to make sure your board tiles and descriptions are optimized for search. Try to use keywords that people commonly search for. Uh, the real thing that we're going to talk about there is just, you know, don't, don't be cutesy with your board names. So, for instance, these people are searching for how to start a blog, earn money from home. So, you know, if I type in earn money from home, look, look, look what pops up. Um, and you see it pop up in the search engine, so it's something people search for, and these are my board names. And so that's why I've named them as such. You'll see people kind of come in and kind of goofily name their boards funny things like skills that pay the bills, dollar dollar bills, y'all, uh, you know, whatever. And the problem with this is those aren't searched. Nobody's searching for skills that pay the bills. Um, you know, it's just not going to be how somebody uses Pinterest and it will lower the amount of people that visit your profile and lower the amount of traffic that comes to your blog. So don't be, don't be too cutesy on your, your profile. All right, so step number five, build your account with pins and the pins of others. Pinterest doesn't like when you repin spam our blocked websites, they will penalize your engagement for it. So when you're building your account, you want to take other people's pins, so like this pin right here, and you can repin it on your account as well. So you can come in here and if I click save, it will repin it on my account. Um, but one of the things you want to keep in mind is that you want to actually click here and check out the website and verify that it's a good website and has good content because there's lots of people, uh, there's lots of spammers on any website. So uh, Pinterest um, does not like it when you pin spam, our 404s, which are broken links or anything like that. So make sure that you're not repinning spam or blocked websites. Step number six, follow the top players in your niche. Seems pretty simple. Uh, you want to follow the top players in your niche so you can monitor their accounts, their pins, their growth, and do as the Romans do. Be, do the things successful people do. Seems pretty obvious. Step number seven, create your first post and your first pin. Okay, and the best way to do this and the best tool is something called Canva. And Canva is a free, image editing website. They've also got this really awesome website. Look at this. You can just do this all day. Let's see if I write my name. Alex. That's in cursive. Anyway, Canva is excellent for creating images and it's just a spectacular free platform that you guys can use to create your pins. Another thing is that you would like to, you, these are the right heights that you should be looking for to create your pin. So make sure to visit the article and read these things. Step number eight is to be active on the platform. Okay, begin by pinning a large majority of other people's content first because they will get more repins than pinning from a newly verified website like your own. New websites to Pinterest, Pinterest doesn't send a lot of love and the reason why they don't is because they don't trust you yet. You haven't built a relationship with that URL with Pinterest. So what you want to do is like I showed you before, come in here and pin other people's content to your boards. Okay. Next, oh yeah, in the beginning start with 10 to 15 pins per day. This is not a hard and fast rule, just a general outline. Step number nine, get on group boards ASAP. So the idea behind Pinterest and just sort of this central thing is, um, did you, do you remember having cork boards? Uh, it depends how young you are, but uh, there are these things called cork boards where people would pin like concert tickets and, and fun events and things and, and they would actually use pins uh, to pin them. Cork. Cork board. Let's go look at one. Um, and they would use it to pin uh, all these things that were going on and all these interesting things in their life just like this. You see how there's, this stuff has been pinned on there? Okay, so that's the idea behind Pinterest. But what Pinterest has is something called group boards. And group boards are just like the same cork boards but instead of being in your house, they're the cork boards um, in your college union, right? In, in like your community center. Uh, they're, they're community boards, essentially. So where other people can get together and pin things on there. Uh, and so Pinterest has the same thing. There are things called um, group boards where multiple people 
um, can pin. So let's actually, let's go here and grab you some. The best way to find group boards is through a website called pingroupy.com. And so you, you can search by whatever it is um, that your target market is in. So let's say you're selling a technology product. Um, you want to come in here and click repins because it orders it by the amount of repins. And that's the amount of engagement the group board has. But when you click on something like this, it's going to come up with a group board. And look at this. Over 240,000 people follow this group board. There are six pinners on here. And when they pin content, it gets a lot of pins and repins because they have a lot of followers. Okay, so the idea is that you need to get on group boards ASAP, especially when you're starting out, guys. All right, so that is pretty much the basic stuff, but there's one other step, and that's to grab our Pinterest organic traffic avalanche. On all my Pinterest training videos, I'm not going to pitch the product at the end of them. This is just kind of how this article rolled, so we're just going to rock it. Um, Pinterest Tra Organic Traffic Avalanche is our free, or not our free, it's our paid product. Um, and it's how we went from zero uh, views per month to over 200,000 views per, per month in two months with zero dollars in ad spend using Pinterest. And literally, we just show you the how-to on how we made Avocado a successful website. And avocado.com, um, it generates uh, plenty of traffic. We can just go inside and I can show you it right now. Um, but we generate all of our traffic coming from Pinterest and, and we teach through this course on Pinterest Traffic Avalanche exactly how to do that. You can see some of our stats in there. Uh, you know, let's, let's not log into there. I don't, don't want some people seeing some of that stuff. Um, regardless, you can see all of our traffic stats back here and we update this post, et cetera, et cetera. You can see our Pinterest account. You can see all these things, you get all these lessons, you get eight modules with over 25 training videos and worksheets and a private support and feedback group where Lauren is there to help you and answer your questions and so am I and we have bonus lessons and continual program updates and it is just awesome. So if Pinterest is something you're interested in using and are ready to take the next step, Pinterest Organic Traffic, traffic Avalanche is amazing. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope I kept it as short as possible. If you are on the YouTubes, I would love it and absolutely love it if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the YouTube channel. We are trying to build this channel up. There's not many good vlogging channels out there. So we are trying particularly hard to build this channel up. We've got 92 beautiful subscribers looking for that 93rd. So uh, just go in here and hit the subscribe button and we would really appreciate it. Also, if you're on the video right now, giving a like and a comment also helps us grow and helps us make more videos for you guys. So a like and a comment for any of your questions also appreciated. Finally, go to Honest Bloggers, type in Facebook Honest Bloggers and join our little private group back here where you can get blogging tips and tricks and more community interaction. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I am excited for you to get started with Pinterest. I will see you on the next one.